Verse 5, And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. Amen. Amen. Everybody say, Increase my faith. Increase my faith. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamine tree. Yep. <laughs> One person said, Are you sick of yours? I'm sick of mine. <laughs> Amen. How many are tired tonight of of uh, of just what life has to give you? Amen. Well, let me let's go on. Be thou plucked up by the root. Amen. And be thou planted in the sea. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And it shall obey you. Amen. How many believe that? Amen. Yeah. Right. Amen. And it's taught just the size of a grain of mustard seed. I believe tonight that everybody here in this building, amen, that has known God, maybe you don't know God yet, for whatever level you're at, I believe everybody has a measure of faith. Amen. I mean, that's scripture, right? That's scripture. Every, everybody has a measure of faith. But which of you, having a servant, plowing and feeding cattle? Amen. Hallelujah. That might take a little while here. Feeding cattle. Will say unto him, by and by, when he is come from the field, Amen. Hallelujah. Go and sit down to me. Amen. 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 With me so far. I, I do read. I read. I read slow. I'm supposed to read with two hands, but right now I'm, you know, I'm, I'm half blind. Okay. <laughs> and will not rather say unto him, make ready. Amen. <laughs> Make ready wherewith I may sup. Uh -huh. And gird thyself in. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Serve me. Serve me. Till I have eaten. And drunk it. Yes. And I'm closing my eyes like I am. Oh Lord. And afterwards thou shalt. Right? Eat. And drink. Now, this is. I'm going to skip down to 10. Well, no, I ain't. Doth, not, <laughs> doth he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? Amen. Everybody say the things that was commanded. <laughs> I trow not. Amen. This is verse 10. I love this. One of my favorite verses in the Bible is Luke 17 and 10. So likewise, ye, when ye shall have done all, everybody talk, uh, say it with me, those, those things which are commanding you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which is, was our duty. Amen. 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 Let's pray together right now. Lord Jesus, we come before you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you for all that you do for us. We love you for all. Amen. Give Jesus a hand clap of praise. I promise you tonight this ain't going to take long. But <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Uh, my wife had touched on quite a bit of what we're going to speak about here tonight. I want to go back to, to the uh, verse 5. 
And the apostle said unto the Lord, increase our faith. One version of the uh, 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 Bible, uh, the uh, New Living Translation says, says it like this. Show us how to increase our faith. Amen. The apostle said in this one version, show us how to increase our faith. Another version of uh, the Young's literal translation says, add to our faith. Or add to us faith. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Tonight, before we walk out of this building, hallelujah, I pray and I'm hoping and praying Hallelujah, that something will be said. And I believe something has already been said. Yes. Hallelujah, tonight that my wife touched on some stuff there. That, that hallelujah, that um, I believe that you're going to add to your faith tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Everybody here has got a measure of faith, right? right? Yes. 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 Amen. But I believe that you're going to walk out of here different. That's right. Yes. Yes, I'm hallelujah. When you walk out of here tonight, not because I'm speaking, not because uh, 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 whatever song might have been played here tonight or, or whatever word has been spoken, but I pray that you leave tonight changed because you have felt the touch from the Master's strong hand. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Not just, uh, not just a change. But a difference. Yes. All right. Amen. Well, let me rephrase that. Not just blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't want you to walk away tonight and say, well, that sure was a blessed service. I felt good. No. I want you to leave here tonight saying, you know what? I feel some difference in this. Yeah. See, I want to take you to 
the point from the mustard seed's point of view. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. I know you know, a mustard seed knows it, it, it's supposed to be one of the smallest seeds, and we all know this. I guess we do. Uh, it's one of the most smallest seeds there is, and you plant it, and it, it brings forth greens. I love greens. Man. <laughs> Mustard green. And that seed, you know, a little bitty seed, then it brings forth this big leafy plant, right? But this seed, at one time, which is a seed. Amen. <laughs> this seed was just a seed. But do you, this is where faith is, right here. Now listen. The seed knows. That is a seed. Yes, it does. It sure does. But it also knows what the end result is. Right. There you go. Amen. There you go. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I, seeds can't talk, so I'm gonna talk for them tonight. Yeah. I may be a seed, but I know what I am. Right. Amen. Yeah. I may be a seed, but I know what I am. I know that within me is a mustard green. <laughs> Amen. I know within me is a, a weed. I shouldn't have said it that way. But. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's what I believe. Jesus is telling the apostles about faith when he's saying... As of a grain of a mustard seed. Amen. We all got a measure of faith. But you know that faith that you got inside of you knows. That it's not just what it is at the moment. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. It knows that there's more to you. Than what it is at the moment. Amen. Amen. Faith knows it's faith. Faith knows what you have. Right. Faith knows who you are. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How many believe that right now? Yes. Yes. I'm going to share a little story with you. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank There's. <laughs> and I hope y'all still love me after this. <laughs> you know this. Uh. Assembly goes way back. And uh, right. amen, I always appreciate being able to be behind this, this pulpit. Amen. Hallelujah. But a blind person can, can, can go into a store and if you uh, uh, can, uh, there's a, if there's a door greeter there, you can say, I need somebody to help me shop and they'll take you, you know, help you shop and you know, help you get what you need to get. Uh, if you can find a service desk, <laughs> which is a chore. Right? Yeah. Uh, they'll do the same thing. Now, I used to live up here in town, and uh, this is for uh, me and, well, actually way before me and Linda got together. Right. And uh, <clears throat> I'd go and I went to Walmart two or three times a week. <clears throat> and uh, I, uh, I'd go in there, and it'd be, it'd be the door greeter or the service desk, and, and they'd you know, find me somebody to help me shop. And uh, so I moved into this apartment up here in Papa Bluff, and uh, right. I, I needed to hang some curtains. And, and uh, you know, I was a single man; I had to hang my own curtains. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and and, and uh, there's some pictures I wanted to hang, and and and, and don't you know? Uh, that's another story altogether about the right. pictures. <laughs> but Anyway, I needed some curtain rods, and I wanted to get me some paint, you know, some nails to stick in the wall, hang pictures on, and, and I wanted to get me something to drink. And to this day, I can't remember what that drink even was. But I uh, <clears throat> went to Walmart, and I went in there, and you know, I got, you know, they found somebody to help me shop, and there was some guy, and and uh, and and, tw and let me tell you, some guys don't know how to shop. <laughs> <laughs> 
Every time they got me a girl to help me shop, I got what I needed. I, I always left empty-handed when a guy helped me out. But anyway, I he, he said, what you need? I said, well, I need some curtain rods, I need some nails, and whatever the drink was. <clears throat> I wanted to you know, pick that up and stuff, so... So we go and, and we find the curtain rods and, he's, and he said, what's next? And, and uh, well, we you know, pick the curtain rods up and everything. He said, what's next? And I said, um, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I need some nails and stuff. So we started twisting and turning and going here and there. And I'm like, I know the, the way I feel. I'm not near the hardware store or the hardware place. I'm not, I don't, I don't know what, I didn't know what he was doing. He just, he was confusing me with what he was doing. Right. And it was just, it was here and there, Zach going down one aisle, down the other and stuff. And I was like, it can't be that hard to find those paling nails, you know, right. stuff. So we stopped, finally stopped. He said, here we are. What, which ones do you need? I started smelling some stuff. <laughs> I was smelling perfume, uh, cosmetic stuff, you know, and it dawned on me. He's got me in front of the fake nails. <laughs> He said, which ones do you need? I said, I almost said, I want some purple ones about that one. <laughs> Bear with me. I am going somewhere with this. I said, I am wanting some nails to hang pictures with. He said, oh, okay. I'll be right back. He took off. <laughs> Left me standing there in front of the fingernails. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if he's going to come back. <laughs> I was there a while, I don't, and he never even told me where I was at. I, had, I figured that out all along. And uh, he come back. <clears throat> said, I, I found what you need. He just okay. Here we go. He, he, he didn't say a word. He just, <laughs> and the reason I can't think of what I wanted to drink to this day is I didn't get it. <laughs> <clears throat> I was like, I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> so I paid for the, <laughs> I paid for the uh, curtain rods and the nails, and I, I headed back to the apartment. On the way home, I'm like, do I look like the kind of person <clears throat> that puts on fake fingernails? <laughs> do I look like the kind of person that, that, that painted my fingernails? I started paying attention to how I walked. <laughs> I got one blessing, Lord, out of that. I went home, you know, I had a weight bench. I hardly ever used it, but I went... You know, back to the apartment. I didn't put the curtain rods up or any pictures up. I went upstairs. I started pumping iron. In there. <laughs> I wanted them to know, hey, I ain't that kind. I, I, I don't wear a fake fingernail. You know, I ain't the kind of. Person. And I wanted people to know this. Hey, I'm a man. 
Now, you can laugh all you want to, but we're living in a day and a time. I want to tell you something. You have got to let people know who and what you really are. Virtue. Amen. Upstanding. Morals. 
Good. Excellence. Good. <laughs> Woo! Knowledge. Wisdom and understanding obtained by education or experience. Temperance, self-control. Patience. Endurance. Perseverance. I heard one say cheerful endurance. Amen. Hey man, you know what? Sometimes it might get a little hard to smile while you're going through a trial. Hey Amen. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you what. <laughs> Woo, Jesus. Hey Amen. If you look toward God, hey Amen, and you pray and you trust in Him, hey Amen. You can do some of that cheerful endurance. Hey Amen. Godliness, being devoted and committed to God. Amen. How many are devoted tonight to Jesus? Amen. 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 Brotherly kindness. Yes. Mutual affection and respect yes. for each other. Yes. Amen. Charity. Love, of course. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm reading this to you tonight to tell you this is what you had to faith. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. And let me tell you this. Jesus told them if you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you can say unto this sycamine tree, be thou plucked up and be planted into the sea, and it shall obey you. Peter said, with all diligence, add to your faith. It didn't say, let God add it to it. Add to your faith. Woo, Jesus. It didn't say, let Peter add to it. It didn't say, let Mama add to it. It didn't say, let your daddy add to it. It didn't say, let your friend add to it. It said, let you Add faith. Oh, and, oh, Jesus. Amen. Add to your faith. It is up to you tonight. Amen. Let me say that again. It is up to you tonight whether you walk out of here with more to your faith than you had when you got here. Amen. Amen. How many believe that tonight? Amen. My, my wife touched on this earlier, oh, yeah. how uh, uh, the, the ship was out there, and there was more than one ship there. Amen. And, and how uh, things are affected by what one person does. Amen. Amen. How many believe that tonight? Amen. Amen. Jesus stepped down on that boat, and he said, Peace be still. The storms were raging for every other ship that was around or every other boat that was around. The storm was raging for them too. Yes. Amen. But just and, and, and all that had to... Well, hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus stepped out and said, Peace be still. It wasn't just for the boat that the apostles was on, but it affected, it affected the boats that were around them. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Your actions, your reaction to what's being told to you tonight, amen, will affect your family. Amen. Your reaction or what you decide to do tonight will affect your friendship. Your reaction to what's being preached to you tonight will affect your job. Amen. Hallelujah. Your reaction. To what you hear tonight is going to affect your life. Amen. I'm here to tell you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. You want people to see you walk, walking by faith? Well, then walk by faith. Amen. You want people to, to, to hear your faith? Well, talk faith. Amen. Hallelujah. You want people to hear 
or, or to feel your faith, well then you better show your faith.
Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. They've been with God. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's a true, that's a true believer right there. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. How many believe that tonight? Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The apostles knew, or uh, in, in Acts, I must say this and then we're going to stand. The apostles themselves, when Peter preached after they had healed the lame man and the uh, the law at that time, you know, God and, and they talked back and forth. But they do that they had been with Jesus. I'm trying not to rush through what I'm saying here. But Jesus had already died. Well, he arose, resurrected. He arose already. But they had took knowledge that these men have been with Jesus. And the reason they knew this it's because of how the apostles acted. The reason they knew this is because how the apostles talked. The reason they knew this, and I'm totally, you know what, my notes just, they're gone. The reason, the reason, the reason they knew this is because of what they did. Yes. Come on. Amen. Yes. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. They, yeah. The reason they knew this is because, hey, some lame man just got healed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason they knew this is because, hey, here's this fisherman named Peter. Amen. He's standing boldly and talking and he's not backing down. Oh, hallelujah. Let me say that again. He, Peter did not back down. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. I want to say that again. Peter did not back down. They knew that he had been with Jesus because of the boldness. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Let me say this in this day and time. Do not be afraid. Right. Yes. Come on. Amen. Right. Do not be afraid of your witness. Do not be afraid to, to say what you need to say or to share what you need to share. Amen. I'm here to tell you, if you're with God, they're going to know, hey, this one has been with Jesus. Amen. 